Good evening, everybody. It's Ian, the Off-Kilter Crafter. Hope you're having a great day today. Uh, for those of you who are catching this on the replay, this is the part of the show where I kind of wait for a few people to come in. So if you're not already subscribed, hit that button down below that says subscribe and click that bell notification icon and check all the check boxes so that way you get notified every time I go live here on YouTube or post a new video. Uh, that way we can all join in on the fun together. Usually it takes about 30 seconds or so uh, for my stream to hit all of your devices that you're watching on today. So you're a little behind where I'm at at this moment, but that's okay. I'm gonna wait just a few minutes for everyone to jump in here. And if you are here, please make sure to say hello on the chat, which should be on this side of the window or just down here somewhere. I don't know exactly where YouTube puts them, but you know, that's, YouTube will probably change it so that it's over here next time. Anyway. Uh, today we're going to be doing some work on an ATC for the artist, or ATC is artist trading card. Um, basically it's a two and a half by three and a half inch card that artists trade amongst themselves as a way to give your work to other people and share your artwork around the globe. Uh, if you're not a part of the Art Sherpa ATC swap group, you can easily do that by checking out the description down below. I have all the links and information for how to become a part of the ATC group, uh, along with the other ATC design team members, which include MWB Arts, uh, Stephanie Bergeron, who is uh, deliberately creative here on YouTube, and of course the Art Sherpa. So the, f uh, what is that for? Oh, and Taz, I almost forgot Taz. Taz is on there too. Make sure to go check out all of our lovely social medias uh, and you can see all the work that we've been doing for this month. It looks like we've had some people jump in here. Uh, Michael is here, Kathy's here, Kim is here, Jamie is here. Hello guys, thank you very much for joining me. I also get to release today's theme, which by the way, we're re releasing this on April 1st, which is April Fool's, but this video is not an April Fool's joke. Maybe it might be in a little while as you'll watch me try to paint in acrylic. But anyways, um, it also happens to be Sweet Potato Day. I have a calendar that tells all the different holidays. There's a holiday literally on every single day of this calendar. So today is Sweet Potato Day. Happy Sweet Potato Day. I hope you had your helping of sweet potatoes, I guess. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Kim is saying she used her maker to cut out a whole bunch of ATC cards in less than 15 minutes. I know. It's great having the maker, isn't it? It is super awesome. Uh, today's theme for our ATC is opposites and reversals. So uh, that is a very generic theme, but it's um, it, it's a great way to get inspired. I was very uninspired this morning, to be 100% honest with y'all. I didn't know what I wanted to do. I was very uninspired and couldn't figure out what I wanted to do for the opposites. Uh, in talking with Tass, she was kind of saying, well, you know, what, what strikes your fancy? What's going on? And she's like, what about your favorite colors? What's your favorite color? Think color-wise. And I was like, well, a great opposite is like orange and blue. Those are complementary colors on the color wheel, which complementary just means that they're on the opposite side of the color wheel from each other. That uh, whenever you have colors that are on opposite sides of the color wheel, when you mix them together, you get like black or brown. Uh, so when they're on opposite sides, you get that black or brown. So anytime you have any colors opposite each other on the color wheel, uh, that's how that kind of works out. I believe green and purple are, uh, uh, or is it green and red? It may be green and red. Those are complementary colors. Um, it, there's a lot of different colors that have that correspondence. So today I'm going to be working with um, kind of a juxtaposition, if you will. Uh, I have a picture that I was working from in my head, sort of. I also did a Google search and found a sunset. So I'm going to do kind of an opposite sunset. I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Uh, let me include, oops, that's my close-up cam. I always do that. I'm still getting used to these buttons. Uh, Cats Gallery is here. Hi, Cats Gallery, welcome. Um, on the table here, I have some products that I have, uh, the Art Sherpa has sent me or uh, has given me in the past. And that's kind of what I'm working with today. I don't have a lot of acrylic art supplies um, other than what the Art Sherpa has given me, which I absolutely love. But I have a, a golden uh, in Hansa yellow medium. I don't know how to say that. I'm sorry. Uh, Nymphal red light. I'm butchering these names. I'm sorry. Phalo blue. I know that one. 
Uh, and then I have some titanium white, which is open. These are all golden colors, by the way. Um, golden paint, I should say, not golden colors. I also have a selection of brushes that the Art Sherpa has given me. And I'm going to be using those today, probably the smaller brushes, as they're going to give me a better line. I'm going to bring this up into the close-up cam so that way you can see. I have a piece of... Which one is this one? I have a piece of... This um, heavyweight Strathmore mixed media paper. This is what I'm using for today's card. They do not sell this paper pad. That's why it says not for not for sale. This is a sample paper pad. Strathmore. Um, whenever you uh, are at a trade show or something, they give these out, which is really awesome. So I'm using that for today's ATC. I also have my ATC kind of lined and marked out here. Um, so we're going to try this and see how this works. I honestly don't know how well I'm going to get, get this conveyed, but remember that we're kind of going backwards for our sunset. So instead of our sun being that yellow or orange, it's actually going to be a blue. And instead of the mountains being a blue, they're going to be the orange. So I'm going to be playing around with different colors and uh, different differences, basically. So why don't we go ahead and stop talking about it, dive in, and we'll see what happens. I Like I said, I have some brushes to select from, and I'm going to be using some of these uh, these uh, colors from Golden, and I haven't used them in a while, so I think they're still okay. Yeah, they look all right. So I'm going to put out some colors, and we're just going to experiment and see what happens. I'm probably going to have to go back and grab some more color and play with it. By the way, this is the Ken Oliver craft mat. I love this mat because I can literally just stick whatever I want to on it with a few exceptions. I'm going to stick these down. I'm going to let you see me. There we go. Uh, I'm going to put these down on the mat. And uh, no mat is complete without a little cat hair, right? <laughs> um, and we're just going to play. We're going to play. We're going to see what happens. This is all an experiment to see how well it works. I hope y'all are still there. I don't see very many comments right now. And it always it kind of worries me a little bit whenever I don't see comments. Uh, not because I don't think y'all love me. But it kind of worries me because uh, we've had problems with our internet provider. And so sometimes my internet will go out. If that does happen, I will be able to um, combat that and uh, upload this video later. But anyways. <sighs> Take a moment to zen and hope that I can do this correctly. All right. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm actually um, going to mix together my orange and my red together um, and try to get, or excuse me, my yellow and my red together because uh, I would like that kind of orangey color. Now, the red is an orange color already. However, it's a very, um, it, it's it's an orangey red, but not as red as I would like, or as orange as I would like it to be. So I'm going to add some more. That was probably too much, but I want to add some more yellow to it and get it pumped up to an orange orange and not this reddish orange. So let's see, Sherpa is probably gonna watch this and be like, oh my gosh, Ian's doing it completely wrong, which would not surprise me at all. Would not surprise me. That's a little better, that's a little bit of a better orange. Yeah, golden is the best paint, absolutely. And for those of you who are catching this um, on the replay, don't forget you also have access to the chat, so that way you can see what's going on even after this live has been completed. You can see what everybody's saying. Frisky Ki Christy is here. <laughs> Frisky Christy is here. Hello. Everybody's watching, just listening and watching. That's fine with me. All right. So that's a pretty good orange color, wouldn't you say? We're going to go with that. Now, time to take it over and do this. Take a breath. All right. Let's start laying some color down. And I've kind of penciled out my marks here of where I want my mountains to go. I am not teaching good uh, paint management because you have you see it's probably beaded up all over my paintbrush. 
So not the best paint management, but you know, I'm still learning like the rest of you. So I'm just gonna go through and paint these in orange. Because remember, normally our sky would be that sunset orange, but today the mountains are gonna be orange. Now it's not unusual for mountains to be orange. There's a lot of times you see it in like National Geographic or you know some some magazines will show uh, different points when mountains have unusual colors. There's a there's literally a picture that I've seen online that shows a um, kind of orange foreground while the background is. Uh, kind of bluish. And that is an actual image, which is really strange. But it's true. Or maybe it's the other way around. I don't remember. Anyways. Yes, I remember I can call you Squirrel. I'm sorry. So I probably should have done this in some sort of uh, like watercolor pencil or something like that. So that way as I painted... Uh, I wouldn't have to worry too much about the lines showing through, but I have a plan, so I always have a plan. Hey, Mark. Mark is here. So I'm just painting along. Everything in my life is opposite and backwards. That's, don't you know it? I feel you. I'm right there with you on that one. This week has been very backwards for me because I had to go to work yesterday. And I'm not used to working on Sundays, so it was a bit strange. I got to do a very fun opportunity yesterday. And I'll be posting some uh, video and some exclusive video that nobody has seen yet. At least not the social media world. Uh, I'll be posting that on Friday, so make sure to check out my video on Friday. Because it'll give you some behind the scenes. Okay. So that's kind of a first layer. Right? How's that look? Probably broke a million of the Sherpa's rules, but it's not horrible. I'm gonna grab a paper towel. I'm gonna clean off my brush a little bit because it does have a lot of leftover paint on it. Just pull off that paint. Oops. And I just splashed a drop onto my artwork. Awesome. Great job, Ian. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a little bit of this white. And I'm actually going to put a drop of white over in this direction. And I'm going to mix it in to my orange. Trying to get a little bit of a lighter orange going on. Now, I am by no means an expert at any of this. Do not take what I'm doing today as gospel for acrylic painting. If you want to become an expert on beginning acrylic painting, check out the Art Sherpa because she knows and can teach you how to do all of that. I am literally stumbling my way through just trying to find out what I can do and hopefully it looks good. <laughs> I'm hoping today's video does not become an April Fool's video, but we'll see. All right, so I'm going to take, I have a lighter color on my brush now. And I'm going to try 
and just lightly color. This is not working well. <laughs> right here. I want there to be a blended color right along here. It should be a gradient where it should be like super, super bright, or excuse me, a, a very saturated color right up here towards the top. And then it works its way into a lighter color down here. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the color that I'm looking for. we're trying it stuck to my finger <laughs> I hope Sherpa doesn't kick me out of the ATC group <laughs> she won't I know she won't but I'm just kind of playing seeing what all I can do Nope, oh, that was supposed to go up there. That's okay. I hope everybody has had a great Monday. I hope nobody has played any evil uh, tricks on you, being evil first. Thankfully, I think I dodged most of the April Fools. I did see a picture from work. Uh, the board that is for staff only uh, showed the quote-unquote specials for the day uh, and for the rest of the week, and they were definitely some uh, April Fools specials. I know, Kim. I just, I sometimes I look at my work and I'm like, I hope she doesn't fire me. <laughs> okay, that's not looking horrible. Does that kind of look like a mountain range to y'all? On camera, I think it looks a little better than what I see actually here in person, but I'm starting to kind of see it come together a little bit. And I'm actually okay with what's happening with these pencil lines. They, I like I said, I should have used some sort of water soluble ink or um, not soluble ink but water like watercolor pencils or something like that but I'm actually kind of okay with it because it's not it's not too bad it actually kind of helps define where my different areas are a little bit you know what I mean kind of shows the difference between the edge of one mountain and the going down of the valley of the next it definitely looks a little different on the screen than it does in person It does very much look like a lunar, uh, not lunar, gosh, come on, Ian. You're supposed to be a space expert here. It does very much look like a Martian landscape to me, like as if you're standing on Mars. You know? 
What do you think, guys? It looks really good. Love the color, by the way. My four-year-old grandson is named Ian. Well, Carolyn, Ian is the best name in the world. <laughs> and we have two Carolyns in here right now. Carolyn French and Carolyn Bryce. Okay, so not horrible. Kind of made it work. Again, it looks better on camera than it does in person, but I'm not mad about it. I am going to go in just a hair more, I think, in a few spots and try to soften it up a little bit. Hope I'm not covering everything. Sorry about that, guys. I unfortunately do not have six cameras like Cinnamon and John do, so I forget sometimes that I might be blocking somebody's view. And if I do that, I do apologize. And one of the most difficult things for me is trying to pick the right brush. Um, obviously, I don't have exactly, you know, I have some brushes, but I don't have all the brushes. So it's been interesting kind of playing around with what I do have. And remember guys, like you don't have to have every single brush to make things work. As you can see here, I'm using this brush. Is this the right brush to use? I don't know, but am I using it? Yeah. Am I making it work for me? Yeah. You don't always have to have every single brush. All right. Oops. There we go. Okay. Not horrible. Is it going to hang in a gallery somewhere? No. Absolutely not. But is is it getting at least the message across of what I'm wanting it to say? Yeah. So far it is. All right. So, it is now time to move over to our background, to our sky so what I'm gonna do is I'm really gonna make sure this brush is emptied out because I don't want to contaminate my next area with the orange which is gonna be the blue yeah it's it's perfectly fine if you don't have all the brushes to get an artwork done you don't need all the brushes you need the basic the staple ones but you can use those in so many different ways and it, it really does, so many people wanna buy every single piece of equipment or whatever and you just don't have to do that. I think I end up using my fingers just as much as I do brushes. Hey, you know what, they're built in. They're built in and they're always at our disposal, right? So I think I think you are perfectly fine to do that. Uh, again, I apologize. I'm getting my brush. I'm really trying to pull out as much of that color as possible as I really, really, really don't want to contaminate that blue. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Really appreciate everybody's support. Y'all are really helping me feel better about it. I was really worried when I started this one. All right. It's got a little bit of orange in it still. Yeah, it still does. Ooh, it's got a lot in it still. Do I have another one? Eh, I might switch to this one. <sighs> decisions, decisions. It also doesn't help that I have really dirty water now. And if I was a good artist, I would probably go empty it out. No, absolutely, Kim. There is nothing wrong with owning all the supplies. Absolutely not. But there's also nothing wrong with not having all the supplies. You know what I mean? I have a lot of supplies, as you can see behind me. All the supplies. By the way, guys, right back there in that box, just past the 8,000 subscriber mark here on YouTube, which is incredible. I thank y'all so much 
for letting me become a part of your lives. Uh, I'll be doing a giveaway sometime very soon. So make sure you're subscribed to my channel so that way you, you, I notify you and you get updates as to when I'm going to be giving that away. If you are a paper crafter, you are going to love what's in that box. I can guarantee you. Now, Sherpa would have definitely gone on by now, but I really want to make sure this brush is really empty. All right, that's, that's going to be as empty as it's going to be. Uh, next, I'm going to move and I'm going to grab some, uh, let's see, I already, I already got the blue. I'm going to grab, yeah. Kim, and, uh, Kim, you need to find um, a lot of times uh, places near you, like there will be a store that sells vinyl or um, heat transfer vinyl and t-shirts and stuff like that. Go check them out. I know of the places here in DFW, I don't know about yours. Don't just rinse, don't drink your rinse water, yeah. Uh, trust me, I have my other glass right next to it, so I'm having to be very careful not to put my paint into my drinking water, which, by the way, I'm going to take a, si a sip, so excuse me. All right, we're going to move on now. I'm going to grab a little of this blue. I want to make a very, very light blue. Very, very light. Like, let's grab even more of that white. Now, I, I didn't know this whenever I received this open white. I couldn't figure out what the um, open meant. Like, why is it called an open titanium white? That just means it's a slow drying, which it says right here, slow drying. So if I had read the bottle, I probably would have figured it out. But open means it just has a longer drying time, so it allows you to... Uh, mix it a little bit more or, uh, you know, it has more to it, basically. It has a longer last to it, basically. Um, so that way you can get mix it more or, um, you know, do what you need to do with it a little bit more. Uh, in my studio, it is um, hot and dry because of the lights. And so because of that, um, things usually dry quickly. But the white, the open white seems to last a little bit longer. All right. So we're going to grab this blue now. And I think I might mix in a little water. There we go. Yes, much better. So I'm mixing my blue and my water. Because I want it to spread out a little bit more. I don't want to thin it so much. I just want it to, when you get a dry brush, you get, you start to see your brush strokes a lot more, right? And I don't really want to see my brush strokes. I want to see a clean cover of this blue color. Again, definitely not a painting expert here. I'm going off of my experience, and y'all need to be closer in. Sorry about that, guys. There we go. How's that? It looks like orange juice. Yeah, it sure does, doesn't it? Yeah, my um, paint water over here looks like orange juice right now. You're definitely not wrong about that. I wish I had some black paint in golden, but unfortunately I don't, because I would like, I think, to go back over this with some black lines, make them stand out a little bit more, but I'm going to make do with what I got. Yeah, I'm not a fan of Hobby Lobby. Not a fan at all. And guys, if you accidentally go over a little bit of your line, it's fine. Like, no one is going to think you're, like, the worst painter ever. Not going to happen.
What's very interesting is y'all are seeing more of a white line than what I see in person. In person, it very much does not look like a white line. And it's okay to go over. Like if you notice right here, I went over and the blue and the orange are mixing together. That happens in reality. When you're looking at a mountain range, you are literally seeing the tops of the mountains mixing with the color of the sky. Because even, when a f even at a very far distance, those images are still mixing a little bit. It's not much, it's not a lot, but they're still mixing. Yeah, I don't have any um, purple either. Dog, dogs, dogsing, dogs, dogs purple. I don't have any of that, unfortunately. But that's okay. I might be able to mix together some of my blue, and I I might be able to mix all three of these colors together to get a blue. But any craft paint, I might have some black craft paint. I'll look in a second and see if I can find some. All right, there we go. How's it looking, guys? So I'm actually gonna try to offload my brush a little bit over here. I still want this blue, but I want a little more of this deeper blue to it. Ooh, that's fun looking. Because I want to mix that right up here at the top. Oh, hey, thank you for subscribing. That noise scared me. I appreciate that very much. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a little bit of water. I'm going to try and kind of feather this out a little bit. And basically blend these colors together. I don't want a harsh line. Now it is the sky. And there is going to be some color variation, especially if you have clouds in your sky, which maybe this, maybe this world has some clouds to it. Thank you guys so much for the uh, little blue and orange will make black. That's right. We just talked about that at the top of the show because they're complementary colors. Now I'm breaking this up a little bit because I don't want it to be 100% perfect, right? Absolutely, there we go. All right, let's go in for our deep dark blue. I'm actually gonna take And you might be wondering like, why am I putting in some lighter blue right there. That's because this is where we're going to have our quote-unquote sun. I don't know if it really counts as a sun anymore because it's definitely, I don't know what world this is. What world do you think this is? Mars doesn't have much of an atmosphere, so it's not going to have It's not going to have as it's not going to have the blue sky that we do have here because the light rays as they're coming through the at earth's atmosphere are causing the the uh, light to split up it acts like a prism and that's why we see blue because it's the wavelength that is uh kind of the wavelength that uh, our atmosphere breaks light up into okay 
What do you think, guys? How's that? Get some more water. Cleaning out my brush. Sorry, I'm blocking the camera. Let's back it out a little bit so that way you can see. I know it's a little crooked, but it's comfortable for what I'm doing. And always remember that your comfort is important. So if you have a piece of artwork that you're working on and it's at an awkward angle, flip it over. Flip it over till it becomes comfortable. Craft mat. This is the Ken Oliver. Uh, I think it's called like best craft mat ever. Um, I got a package right here. Hold on. Ooh, yep. It is the 16 and a half by five inches best craft mat ever it's from ken oliver you can find it on amazon i had to buy another one because somewhere on here you can't i don't know where it is but somewhere on here i went through the uh craft mat with a rotary blade which was dumb on my decision i actually think it's somewhere up here i hope it's not leaking through but anyways, uh, I put a I put a rotary blade through this mat, uh, unfortunately. So that's why I am that's why I had to get another one is because at some point that will uh, like you can't ink on it because uh, that will come apart. I think it's actually I think that crack or that cut is somewhere at the top there. So anyways, all right, let's dive back in. We're gonna grab some of this very very dark blue. The phalo blue. We're going to come right here. And I'm going to try and form a round circle. <laughs> Easier said than done. Circles are some of the hardest things to do. Because you always have a side that looks a little lopsided. And especially because I'm using a square brush. It doesn't make it any easier. So I'm going through and I'm trying to round this out a little bit better. How's that look? It's a little, our sun or moon or whatever this is has a very lopsided uh, effect to it. But that's okay. I love this mat a lot because nothing sticks to it. All I have to do, um, I'll probably take a baby wipe to this and get this all cleaned up. All right. How's this looking, guys? What do you think? Tell me what you think. I'm going to take a sippy sippy while y'all put your comments into the chat. Vulcan. There you go. Okay. That's pretty cool. What are you thinking, guys? I'm going to reach over here onto my shelf and see if I can find a uh, black, because I really would like to go over the tops of the mountains with a black. Ah, here we go, here's a paint pen. I'm gonna shake this up. This is a uh, Dilutions paint pen. I'm gonna shake it up. This is all dry down here for the most part. There's a little bit still wet over there. I think it'll still work. Now with these paint pens, I'll put this so that way you can see me. <laughs> um, you have to shake them up a lot. They have a ball, which you may be able to hear there. Um, and whenever you're using this paint pen, remember that you have to, right now my nib is completely empty. Like you see a white nib right there. And, uh, oh, you got it for 50% off? That's awesome. Carolyn, this is the best man ever. It really is. It, it says it in the name, but seriously, it is. 
So as you can see right there, my nib is completely dry. What I have to do to activate this is I uh, push down and I'm gonna let the paint slowly pour into the chamber. I'm not gonna pump it. Uh, I'm not gonna do any of that. I'm just gonna let it sit here for a minute and let that paint go into the nib. Outlining is breaking the rules. I'm a rule breaker. It happens. Uh, anyways, so I'm letting the paint actually enter into the nib, and it's taking a little bit of time. I can see the paint starting to get in there. Um, and then you have to remember, as soon as you release the nib, it actually shuts the um, flow off. So every now and again, you have to go in and push on the nib to get that flow going again. And it takes a while, especially when you're getting started. It takes a while. So I apologize, y'all sitting here, look at me, look at a pen. Just waiting. It's literally like waiting for paint to dry. <laughs> Rules are meant to be broken. That is right, Kim. Unless it's murder, then it's definitely not meant to be broken. <laughs> Don't know what's taking it so long. Come on. Get down there. don't know what's wrong with my pen. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> like, I literally see the paint flowing into the nozzle. I don't know what's taking so long for it to get down. We may end up not lighting. We may just stop right there. <laughs> That's what we got so far, guys. I was going to outline, but I don't even know if y'all are going to be able to see this or not. Focus, camera. So you can actually see that the paint has come down to, down through the barrel, but it's not coming out the um, nozzle. And I don't know why. I know this has been sitting around for a while, so that may be part of it. Anyways, well, we may n end up not doing that after all, but... What do you think, guys? You, I'm going to put this out to a poll. What do y'all think? Should I add some of that black lining on top of the black lines that are already there? Or do you think it looks good and I should just stop? Let's put that into the test of, of what do you think I should do next? Should I stop? Or should I go through and black line? Use a needle. Uh, Carolyn, I don't know if I can use a needle on this one uh, because of how this is made. I, I don't know that I can stick a needle into it. There we go. Finally got some down to the tip, it looks like. All right, guys, tell me, should I black line this or should I leave it be? Looks great how it is. All righty.
Got to go with looks good. Two looks good. Okay. All right. Let's go with that then. Now I do have the lines from where I drew it originally. So there is sort of a black line there. It's your art. Do, do what it, yeah. I don't know. I kind of, I'm so torn between this. Do what feels right to you. You're right. Hmm. I kind of like this. I think we're going to stop there, guys. I think we're going to stop there and call it good. Yeah, I kind of like that. Cool. Excellent. So that is our ATC for today. <laughs> I like Kat put up the stop sign. Uh, that is our ATC for today for um, opposites and what was the theme again? <laughs> opposites and reversals. Uh, today I went through and decided to do a orange landscape with a blue sky, a blue sunset, uh, and kind of changing that up a little bit so that it's a little bit different. We have our orange mountains with our blue sky and blue sun. Now, it's not too unfamiliar because the sky is blue for the most part, but in many times, and there are times when our sky is orange, especially around sunset. So I think this looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. So I think I'm going to stop there. But this is the AC, ATC for today for our theme. Pretty cool. Awesome. Excellent. Yay! We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. <laughs> So if you'd like to become a part of the ATC swap group, you can do that. All the information is down in the description below for how to join the ATC group. Also, uh, make sure to go check out MWB Arts, uh, 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 Stephanie Bergeron with Deliberately Creative, and uh, Taz has, um, I don't remember her channel name, but it's down in the description below. All those links are there. And I think everybody has gone through and made their ATC already, which is great because this is the first of the month. Uh, all these are due at the end of the month, of course, and uh, send them in. And don't forget, if you are not a part of the paid membership group, you just have to send a loose stamp with it. Uh, and then if you are not a if you are not a m member you send in a loose stamp with your uh creation if you are a part of the group you can just mail it in and don't forget uh the only reason you're paying for membership is you get early access into the ace tc themes so you get a little bit longer to work on them and also uh you don't have to send in that stamp it helps cover international postage for those who are wanting to do this internationally and yes if you are an international person outside of the united states you too can participate as well. You just got to mail it in. So that's that's what we're going to call good for today. My Martian landscape with blue sun and definitely an opposite kind of look to it. Very clever idea. Thank you so much, Mark. I really appreciate that. I, I, I try. I try. Don't know how successful I always am, but at least I get the idea across that it's a mountain range with a sunset, right? It's just opposite colors. So, anywho. And you can send in two cards. That's right. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, you can send in two cards and then you'll get two cards back, which is pretty cool. Right? I think it is. I think it's pretty... I This whole opportunity is a super fun opportunity, so... Anywho, guys, I really appreciate y'all being here. Thanks for joining me while I created this ATC. Uh, as always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And then I also have my social media links right down here on screen and down in the description below. 
And I really, really do appreciate y'all taking some time to join me tonight and explore some fun with acrylic paint and an ATC. Hope everybody have, I hope everybody has a great night. And remember guys, normal is just a setting on the dryer and I prove it every day because I'm definitely a little weird. Uh, how, wait, ACT, could any paint, how becomes members? So to become a member of the group, all you have to do is uh, find the, um, the Art Sherpa ATC swap on Facebook and you need to uh, sign up to become a paid member on the Art Sherpa's website. Again, that's going to be down in the description, so make sure to go check that out. All right, guys, I hope you have a great night. And remember, guys, normal's just a setting on the dryer. I said that already. Ah, oh, gosh. Oh, well. Have a great evening, everybody.